Howdy folks, it is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Master Orion 2. The outpost ship is done and on its way, so we're only... We're not too terribly far behind of where we were. Like, I can live with it. But still, it's always ever so slightly annoying. Like, we already did this, I think. This is... Hollow Simulator, Search Lab, Minor Plant, Soil Enrichment, Spaceport. Let's bring up your Starbase, then probably boot the Spaceport up. It's like there. Your Robot Minor Plant is done. This is roughly when we said we might as well just build a research lab and supercomputer everywhere. This planet may be ultra rich. Might not be. The ultra rich planets I would like to put uh, space stations on. Arnavala 2, do you need to build anything new? No. Not a 2 to 1 ratio. My mouse is too fast again. So yeah, don't accidentally press mouse buttons that didn't exist in the era where this game come out came out. Because the game doesn't know how to process that. <laughs> Go one is done. Oh, you are fully housed, actually. Can have you build some small stuff, but it may be best to just have you do trade goods and just start working on some science. Praise be unto science. Ah, not enough freighters. It's weird. Did we just build freighters? Oh, there they are. I guess I thought they were done. Okay. You're just a scout. Another warship. We want them to idle at home. So we said not to hide or populate anything there. And yeah, your building list starts getting pretty big. <laughs> uh, let's see. I wish you could filter out like certain things somehow. I'm not sure how you would do it, but. Probably what they should have done is once you have battle stations, replace the star bases with those automatically. And then like replace the research lab with the supercomputer automatically, things like that. Are you a small planet? You are. So you're gonna want biospheres. All right, to me, build order. Biospheres are done. We have population room to grow, so we might want to just build housing here. Let's build housing for now. Well, 
Oh, you're the home world. Home world should pretty much always be building something, you know? Build me a liberator again. It should need a new colony ship here eventually, but... Okay. Outpost fleet. Head over that way. You know what? The scout should go over that way, too. Terraforming. Ha ha ha. Unfortunately, it becomes more and more intensive each time you use it, but planets that are like one step away from Terran, they're not too bad to get fixed. Uh, let's do the ion drive so our ships can get around a little quicker. Uh, plan for an outpost. We'll just do it on the asteroid belt here. Then the way you know that it's a, a, a outpost, not a colony, is it's in lowercase, which is kind of funny. Bolarathi, greetings Emperor Lance. I'm glad to finally meet you in person. It will make watching your destruction so much more pleasurable. I was about to say that he was a little bit kinder. Thanks for a fruitful trade treaty. Races. Noticed how our, uh, our stuff has been getting stolen a lot less now that we told them to stop stealing from me. Choose not to accept. Okay. That is fine by me. All right. We're producing too much food. Oh, wait, do we have enough freighter? We have six extra, so we should be okay. Should we take the farmers off of this plant? But man, it just produces so much food there. Main one is the ocean world. Doesn't really need to be making food. The heavy gravity world shouldn't really be making food either. Uh, no, not worth it. 62. It's close to... That's worth doing. That's just very cheap. That's a good deal. That is not a good deal. Not a good deal. Man, spaceships. <laughs> Ooh, spaceships take a lot. Terraforming. This planet is... Is it barren? It's barren because there's no... No farming allowed here. So this first stage of growth is not the best one, but it doesn't take that long to build, and it's free over time, so I will accept it. We'll just do one level of terraforming so we can see if it's more efficient to terraform than to build a star base there. I mean, this one, this planet's a guy in planet, so it can't be terraformed at all. Ion drive, faster ships, ion pulse cannon, shield capacitors. The planetary gravity generator would actually help us immensely because of our, our racial penalty. Oh, I don't think I clicked on the turn button, did I? It's funny, my home planet is the one that keeps starving. It's a little silly. Stop that, that's silly. Whoa, okay, we gotta come here. Everybody hold up. <laughs> Might have to just like rush by a computer as a incredibly good ship. Alright, you are an ultra rich Chorazan. Let's see. Baron. Yeah, 
We are very low on population space here. Robo miner plant will make terraforming easier. Got a lot of troop transports, man. I don't like that. Destroyer. Okay, Liberator's done next turn, and then we can work on a colony ship. Okay. I would love to upgrade our thing to a better space station, but we ain't got the time here. It's way too much money, unfortunately, to rush that. Oh, I'm over capacity. That's actually a little weird. Because I've built a lot of uh, space stations. Pretty sure battle stations add, or just space stations add more space to uh, the amount of ships you can have. I think it just costs us money to have too many. Battle station might not actually add more. Hold on. I think we can... Man, my mouse. Ugh. <laughs> Or from star bases. I have to build a battle station here. Oh my god, it's going to take so long to build, though. <laughs> well, we have people taking off of production up here. Well, not a lot, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Ooh. Too much food again. Should not be. Not be doing trade goods when you can do other things. Just science? I don't know about just science, man. It's not very good. Ooh, baby. Terraforming's done. You're probably like a. A desert planet or something now. Venerous. However, I do need a star bases. Can also enrich your soil now. Let's see what kind of planet Venerous is now. Yep, it's a desert planet. Oh, man, I need this colony shit bad. I'm going to spend that extra money. I need it. I might send the entire fleet with it just to get it there. Because, like, I need it pretty bad. Is it faster if it's on its own? No. Taking the whole fleet then. Taking the whole dang fleet with me. Planetary gravity generator. Hell yeah. I don't know how that works with us being a low gravity race. I don't know if we just need one or if we have to build like two. Now let's do chemistry here. I 
happy to spend that money to terraform that planet quickly. Built a star base. Gravity generator. Oh, yeah, that's going to help. Eliminates the negative effects of low and heavy gravity. So it might just take us to normal. It might not take us to low, which would be kind of sad. This is a pretty big planet. It doesn't really need a biospheres yet. Master one. You're about done with housing, sir. Uh, okay, we can build gravity generators for low. I don't know if we can reduce heavy gravity plants all the way to low. We're going to find out. Hopefully we can get to this planet before this other guy does. I'm very concerned about it. Character level up. The Australians and Silicoids are now at war. Imagine the war with the silicoids is going to happen a lot because uh, people can't really negotiate with them. Maintenance cost of three. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Ultra rich gold deposits planet. That is incredible, especially now that we can terraform this. We can terraform it to Terran in one shot. There you go, the drill. We always do automated factory. Follow simulator. Slap that in real quick. Battle stations. See, where are we? This is the home world. It's fully populated. Okay. Apparently, I can't build more <laughs> fighting ships. So, I suppose just build a spy for now. And then, with these new fuel cells, we might be able to scout. What the? That's not the planet I clicked on. I don't know what happened to my other scout. Oh, I guess I got a new scout because I have laser cannons now. Scoot. I don't need armed scouts. Atmospheric Renewer. Medium fuel cells. Pulse on this. Oh boy. Everything's getting pretty expensive. Planetary stock exchange. Hello? Hello, humans. Humans. We've heard many things about the Great Life Union. Barry, we hope you will trust us as allies and friends. Again, 1996, when Star Trek The Next Generation was airing, he's based, his character's based on Picard. That's why humans have been the only people who aren't mean. Ooh, baby. Okay. Actually, I will be taking my fleet back because we'd like to give them more experience points. Finish building Scoot. See how the words are getting smaller? They they know more can fit in here. You'd like to use that for sure. Man, I'd love to build. <laughs> I'd love to build more ships, but man, they are expensive. Ugh, I don't know if I could take on a crystal. I'm going to have to look up how tough they are to beat, like roughly how much fighting power I'll need to finish it. Could deck out the homeworld and defenses. I don't know if we need them. Antarans could attack, I suppose. 
a freighter fleet probably wouldn't hurt. Maybe even two of them. Everything can get built in one turn now there. Okay. Computers, build it. That's a lot. Battle stations are pretty expensive. Turns out we can't really crank them out more quickly. Okay, Alpha, should you really be working on housing? How you doing here, bud? Yeah, not with atmospheric renewers being buildable. Should always build an atmospheric renewer if you can. The Sussy Baca system was just explored. It didn't have anything in it, though. <laughs> All right, give me the gravity generator. Yeah, it looks like I just have to build it twice, maybe, is what's going on. Oh, you shouldn't build that before a pollution processor. Raider fleet done. I might just have to pay the cost on, uh, they have a little bit more space for ships. We'll have to rebuild these ships here soon, but for now, or redesign them to have better weapons. Renewer, stock exchange, pretty dang good. Biospheres might as well. You still have a lot of population room, so you can just work on housing after that. Well, actually, battle station and then housing. Fully armed and operational battle station. See if we can crank out anything a little quicker. Yes. That's doable. Stock exchange, absolutely. Probably should do the renewer first. I think I did not add much production because of the pollution there. I'm done. Wasn't paying attention to my fleet movements. Check out this gray dwarf over here. Uh-oh. What is this? Science predict that the star in the Volan system will go supernova within 10 years. I think that's 10 turns. If a research solution cannot be found, colonies in the system will be destroyed. Volan system. I really need to know if this is me. <laughs> This is not our world. I don't know who has it. Looks like we've not seen it yet. Yes, damage control and fast missile racks. Battleoids, ground batteries, Titan construction. Titans are very large spaceships. Okay. Okay. 
Gravity generator, atmospheric renewer. Soil enrichment. Stock exchange and terraforming. Atmospheric renewer. Stock exchange. Okay. Gym deposits. Medium radiated gym deposits. Eh. I know we can get rid of radiation and stuff now, but eh. Not the most valuable thing we've ever seen. Oops. This is just the home world, right? Okay, our fleet capacity is maxed out. Let's see. Class 1 shields still. We don't have max class 3 yet. Shouldn't we have class 3 or do these need to refit in order to have class 3? Yes, yeah, the scout has a class 3 shield. This should just automatically upgrade all of this. There's more space available now. Triple the armor parts, combat speed. Slap on heavy armor. Echo one. Best beam weapon now. Graviton beam, extra structure damage. If we remove... We remove the pulse on missiles to graviton beams. Oops. Very easy to misclick. <laughs> I think these uh, mass drivers are too far out of date. Okay. Refit. Doesn't take too terribly long to refit these. Oh, they're all taken out of the thing, though. <laughs> I'd rather them kind of do it one at a time, but I can kind of go all over the universe now, huh? Okay. Not necessary. That's worth a little bit. That's not quite right. Uh, maybe it is. We're out of time for this video, though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, never hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, until next time, I hope you have a good day.